Today we have a kind of official opening of the EBIC and alongside it there's the physical sciences um, also and so there's this really nice building that was originally uh, an extension of one of the beam lines in the synchrotron but now has become a kind of entity of its own. Mm -hmm. So now uh, lots of people are doing cryo-M, determining structures, even the pharmaceutical companies who didn't start doing X-ray crystallography until about 1990 mm -hmm. have now also got into this and are now at least worldwide 10 or 15 mm -hmm. companies using cryo-M to do structure determination of molecules that you, you might want to do drug design for. So it's having an impact on biology and uh, pharmaceutical companies. So electron microscopy has been around as a method for many years. Um, it was developed in the middle of the 20th century and gave a good view overview of biology. But about six years ago or so, there was a huge step change in the technology. The biggest single thing was a new detectors, uh, which took movies instead of still photographs and were extremely efficient. Together with a few other developments in the microscope, that completely altered the capability of electron microscopy. Since Diamond was established, one of the main techniques that users have come here to practice was macromolecular crystallography, trying to understand using crystallography the atomic structure of biological uh, molecules. Uh, electron microscopy really now complements that. We've established a partnership with Thermo Fisher, um, and this, they are the manufacturers of the uh, latest high-end microscopes, and by working with them, we can, we're able to deliver um, access to microscopes to pharmaceutical industries, the biotech, um, and we can work with them on the development of the next generation of machines and improve the technology. Yeah, so I'm here in front of the Titan Cryos microscope. This is one of the two microscopes that we are putting on site here at uh, Diamond Light to run the industrial program to give access to pharma companies to cryo electron microscopy. So one of the microscopes is a sample a screening microscope and the other one is a high-end data collection microscope, giving uh, pharma companies the possibility to do first a uh, quality check on the sample before it goes into the data collection piece. We want to make drug discovery cheaper, faster and better and cryo-EM technology has proven that it has the potential in, uh, by the academic results. Now we hope to translate that into the uh, industrial results. It's important for us to be here uh, at, at Diamond uh, as, as Thermo Fisher because uh, the expertise and experience that Diamond already has on the synchrotron part with pharma companies, the large installed base of cryo-EM equipment that Diamond already has uh, for the academic world. Uh, and the last reason being the physical proximity of diamonds to uh, large pharma companies who do their R&D activities in the southern part of the UK. My company, Evatech, who do a lot of structural biology, plan to use this facility routinely to do single particle cryo-electron microscopy, really to enable our drug discovery efforts. So the ability to use this facility to look at the near atomic resolution of our drug targets, bound to the small molecules, will allow us to really accelerate our drug discovery programs by informing our medicinal chemists about where to go next with their design. And that will allow us to look at new potential drug targets for the future. EBIC is unique as a facility for industry. There are no other facilities of this sort of size that have given ready access to industry. The, uh, the approach EBIC is taking for our access is akin to the work we do at the Synchrotron already. So with the quality of the science and the quality of the machines here, which are only going to improve over time, this facility will put Evatech at the forefront of the new Quarium science.